this evening as a federal judge blocked the lifting of Title 42. Thank you so much for joining us. I'm Natasha Paloma. And I'm Andy Morgan. We first broke the news on our website, KTSM.com, and tonight we have team coverage for you this evening. Let's go out first to KTSM 9 News reporter Shelby Cap, who spoke with the county judge about the federal judge's ruling. And Shelby, what exactly happens now? Andy Natasia El Paso County Judge Ricardo Samaniego says even though Title 42 isn't going to be lifted on Monday, he doesn't view it as something that's a permanent and says we're already seeing about 1500 apprehensions a day and says that El Paso needs to be prepared. Uh, delaying it only creates more people coming closer to the border and waiting for it to happen and then now we got to have to deal with a with a large numbers like we're having to deal with now. Saying the delaying of Title 42 does give El Paso more time to prepare with a processing facility, shelters, and staff for those centers. Now, as you may remember, the county judge said yesterday that he and the mayor were planning to sign an emergency declaration to get funding from FEMA to cover the cost of the influx in migrants coming across the border. Now, Samaniego telling me that even before the judge's ruling, that while it was set on the agenda for next week, he planned to vote against it. As he says, someone higher up told him that El Paso could not get different funding through the declaration. And the mayor and I make the declaration and it's not going to help with funding, then it doesn't make sense for us to do that uh, because then people will pick up the narrative that we're having, a, you know, an emergency or declare a disaster situation. And Samaniego says even without that additional funding from FEMA that they were hoping to be able to get through those emergency declarations, he does say that El Paso will be able to still get processing facilities, shelters, and the staff. Andy, Natasia. And Shelby, I know you spoke with immigrant advocates about Title 42 remaining. So what does this mean for migrants now, especially those who were hoping to seek asylum once Title 42 came to an end? Yeah, well, Natasia, I did speak with the Border Network for Human Rights, and they tell me that they are concerned that Title 42 is going to remain because they say that they're expecting more migrants to get injured and possibly die this summer as they say they keep being expelled and try to get back in and try even more dangerous ways to do that. All right, Shelby Cap reporting for us from the U.S.-Mexico border. Thank you, Shelby.